well. Your infestation profile is threefold. You have silverfish and water bugs in the drainage areas, and under the baseboard structure, you have Blateria andropolis. Did you hear that, Rose? The president of Greece lives under our baseboard. <laughs> Blateria andropolis is a cockroach. Maybe he'll be voted out next election. <laughs> What do you have to do to get rid of them? The next step is to ascertain the condition of your exterior. For this, I need to perform a cursory inspection of your subterranean substructure. You mean crawl under the house? Anybody can make it sound stupid. <laughs> Poor man, how does he face himself every day knowing his life is devoted to killing other living things? Oh, Rose, I don't think a guy who drives around with a fiberglass termite on the roof of his van ponders many deep questions. <laughs> Oh, girls, I'm just in ecstasy. My body is tingling all over. You will never guess what just happened. We know what happened. Let us guess what part of the Middle East he's from. <laughs> I just won the raffle over at the movie theater. Tickets to the world premiere of Mr. Burt Reynolds' new movie tomorrow night. That's nice. Yes. And passes for me and my two best friends to the private party afterwards to be hosted by none other than Mr. Burt Reynolds himself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, honey. Oh, no. Not this time. I'm tired of being the tonto with the group. <laughs> I tried to get another ticket, and I couldn't. Then this time, we'll have to draw cards. I missed out on the Vita. Now, forget the cards, Ma. I am not about to give up a chance to meet Burt Reynolds. Me neither. Et tu, Blanche? <laughs> Sophia, Mr. Burt Reynolds is one of our finest living actors. Why, he should have won the Oscar for Deliverance, not to mention starting over. That Academy's just jealous. I mean, you put Mr. Sir Lawrence Olivier in Cannonball Run, see what he can do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sophia, but the answer's no. Fine, break an old lady's heart. If you need me, I'll be out back with the rest of the garbage. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll get over it. And even if she doesn't, who cares? We're gonna meet Burke Miller! <laughs> I always get this reaction when I wear the tight jumpsuit. <laughs> Tell me, what'd you find under the house? Bad news, you got termites. Termites? Oh, no, can you get rid of them? Sure, haven't you heard our company motto? No, what is it? We get rid of termites. <laughs> we'll have to tent the house right away. You have to move out for two days. Well, where will we stay? Well, how about a beautiful hotel over on Miami Beach? Hey, listen, we're already going to meet Mr. Burt Reynolds. Why don't we just make a great big old weekend out of it? We can't afford a hotel over on the beach. I'll find one we can't afford. What do you say, girls? I think it's a terrific <laughs> idea. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay, you can start tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm off to Miami Beach to find us the perfect hotel for our perfect weekend. Oh, ma, ma, <laughs> a hotel on the beach. Doesn't that sound like fun? I get to go with you? I don't have to stay here and get gassed with the termites? <laughs> Oh, Dorothy, you're such a good daughter. Yeah, she'll get over it. And if she doesn't, who cares? We're going to meet Bert! Uh, Ma, you want the bed facing the TV or the one next to the window? I want the bed next to Bert Reynolds. Fine, I'll take this one. <coughs> Ma, you all right? Yeah, yeah. Just a little relapse from the pneumonia I caught. You remember, I ran six miles in the rain and the cold to bring you the cannoli you forgot to put in your lunchbox. Ma, please. Don't worry. I'll be all right. You all go schmooze with Bert and his Hollywood buddies. I'll just stay here and hack myself unconscious. Well, that's being a good sport. 